Hi right, everybody, welcome back to the channel, the main event here. Today, we're going to be talking about Dortmund, the Dortmund Regional Championships that just concluded this past weekend that were won by David Miraglia. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. I apologize if I'm not. Um, of Italy, uh, Italy, which might be the strongest region. They just won the World Championships. Uh, Italian player just won the first European Regional of the format. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. Question of the day is who is the best redirector? The reason that is the question of the day, which you might know from the thumbnail, is that redirection really kind of dominated this tournament. Um, David, he won with a Clefable, which we'll look at his entire team in a moment. Um, you see here, Amungus, Matty Morgan, Electabuzz, third place, uh, Amungus, fourth place. Uh, Bevzi had Mouse Hole. I'm not sure if he had Rage Powder, so we'll check that in a minute, but he had a redirector. Uh, no redirection on the sixth place team. Uh, yeah, this is not a follow me and Didi. Uh, Magmar, 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 Magmar came into the next <laughs> four spots. Um, all follow me users. So we're going to take a look at some of these teams to see what kind of differences in the redirectors um, had. But we'll start with uh, looking at David's team, which I actually have pulled up here. So he won with um, Annihilate, Whimsicott, Garchomp, Clefable, Hydreigon, Goldango team. Um, so based on what I can see here, uh, he had some setup, obviously, right? He has Bulk Up, um, uh, Bulk Up Annihilate. He has Nasty Black Goldango. And some of the best things you can do for those things is to provide speed control and redirection. So his redirector of choice was Clefable, which was a uh, Terra Water Unaware. Terra Water plus it resists steel, um, obviously. Uh, Misty Terrain is a really good tech that I think because you want to keep stuff like your guard chop from getting like burn and go to sleep. Also, you're annihilating that Terra Fire, it's Terra Water. Um, even though it has the goggles for Spore and free direction, it doesn't protect us from being burned. Whereas the Clefable will protect it from being burned with the Misty Terrain. Um, also, I think this is just a really good way to counter like other terrains like Arilla Booms to reduce their damage into your Terra Water Mons. Um, also, for like Psy Spam, even though you have the Hydreigon, that's usually just not like enough. You need you need something else, right? Because you can still lose to stuff like Ursulunas and everything. So having like different ways to deal with Psy Spam between the Godango and the Clefable with the terrain and the Hydreigon, I think the team is really, really well put together. Um, two dragons and two fairies is interesting with one steel. Um, no like fire, water, grass like you were accustomed to seeing, especially uh, um, in the European regions. Uh, they tend to play a lot of heavy balance uh, type of game, which this tournament was a lot of, uh, which you'll get to see in a moment. But I think this team is really good. I haven't tried this team. Um, it's actually funny that Double Dragons won this tournament because I'm just going to poke over here really quickly. This is the results from the uh, Joinville Regional Championships, which I believe is a Latin American tournament, which was run by Gabriel Agati. He also won with Double Dragons. Um, Garchomp won both events on the same day, actually, which is kind of insane. Um, this one had a Dragon, the other one had a Hydreigon. This one had an Amoongus for redirection and obviously sport support. The other one had a, what's it called? A Clefable. I'm actually probably going to try to feature this team as soon as I can, because I actually have tried this team out and it's really, really strong. It's really, really fun. I'm going to show it to you guys when I get a chance. So yeah. Um, let's go down back to the uh, to the other team. So I want to look at like this uh, Nicolo uh, Nicolo Bernardo's top four team. Bernardo's, I apologize. So he had Electro Web Taunt, Follow Me, and uh, Protect. A Violate. Obviously, a Violate is going to be used on these uh, Magmars and Electabuzz. So he went, with, he went with Taunt for opposing Trick Rooms. Um, Vital Spirit for like opposing Spores makes sense. Electro Web Taunt, Taunt and Strike for Trick Room and just for other status moves. Electro Web for Speed Control, Follow Me. Uh, so even for a night, not much offense, just mostly all support, which is what I expect to see in a lot of these um, follow me user builds. Uh, this mouse hold is probably a standard mouse hold. Follow me, taunt, beat up. So like, yeah, so not even like another non-offensive one. Goggles, follow me, taunt, beat up, protect, right? So that's a very standard support set. I want to look at one of the, uh, I want to look at the magma to see what they had that were different. Overheat, Willow is follow me, protect. Okay, so he had Vital Spirit as well. Um, notice that they're not really using the flame body and the, the, the status abilities, um, which some people sometimes opt for. They're all opting to just, to just basically nullify Amoongus, um, either with Taunt and or Vital Spirit. Um, overheat for actually, to, he can actually do some damage. will o to burn things, so he doesn't have flame body, but he has Wisp. Follow me, protect. So no Taunt on this Magmar. Uh, let's see the next Magmar. Nico, David, Cognetta. Uh, will o overheat, follow me, protect. He went with Ghost for, Ghost for his Terra. Are all the Magmars the same set? Uh, there was a running joke on uh okay heat wave instead of overheat so um <laughs> he has taunt as well so no wisp uh but still vital spirit there was a, a running joke on twitter that the europeans they can play really well but they don't build <laughs> a lot of these teams as you can see are very similar you know uh fire water grass rillaboom premarina king gambit dragapult sneezler <laughs> redirector 
<laughs> swords dance <laughs> fake out recovery haze <laughs> banded pulp <laughs> the same very similar kind of team overheat wisp following so the the magma sets tend to be very similar it seems that the um the magma sets are more for i guess damage mitigation with like the willow wisp sets whereas the uh the um electabuzz seems to be focused more on like just disruption and speed control i'm gonna see if i can find one more electric here we go cone vincom so protect electric up top follow me so the electabuzz seem to be more about like board control with like speed control taunt and then follow me um and the uh magmar seems to be more about like damage reduction right so they want to burn things um and just redirect the hits into them into their bulky body so i think that's kind of really kind of cool i want to go down to the actual usage which I may have just messed up by clicking off there. Oh uh, no, user stats. So if you go, go by the user stats, right? You see that these are the team that um, scored points. This is a nimbuscitypost.com, by the way, which I'll try to link down in the description. Uh, really good resource for breaking down the numbers this way. So this is the Pokemon that scored points. I want to go to the redirect So 50 elected bus score point, 19% of the field. Um, 14 Magmar's scored points um 27 mouse hold scored points and obviously 27 mouse and 36 uh apes mean they're not all matched up together right so some of these mice were probably alone or these apes were alone. um among us 72 among us scored points i'm gonna see if they how many fables of uh, 12 fable scored points so like as you can see like redirectors really really did really really strongly this tournament um the ones that made day two let's see how those numbers stack up and then we'll look at like the, gen the general uh, populace of Pokemon as well. So 20 Electabuzz, uh, 23 Among Us in day two, um, 13 Mousehold and 10 Magmar and six Fable. And then we go to the top cut. You'll see that the top cut had five Buzz. I mean, five Magmar. Magmar actually outperformed Buzz. Um, so I wonder what, what the reason for that is. I wonder if it has to do with the ability to burn stuff that... um that that made it a little bit slightly more successful um because a lot of electabuzz did really good in day one but slightly more successful in cut because overall it was a more successful the tournament but slightly more slightly more successful cut um so five magmars uh four buzz um one clefable obviously the one that won the tournament three mouse holds uh and where's the amungus six amungus um so yeah that's a that that's a something that's interesting i think the reason that redirection is so strong right now is just because um there's a lot of things that you just need to be worried about damage wise right now and not only just damage but like stuff like sneezler for example right um it's just like putting your pokemon like to sleep or paralyzing them is not great so you want to try to give your pokemon a chance to not take that hit for a turn because sneezer is pretty frill so you can take it out in one or, in one or two hits tops most of the time so giving your pokemon a chance or two to be able to take it out before you can get die is really strong right um clefable has like the unaware stuff which is really really good because you can ignore like redirect you can ah, you can ignore stat increases from stuff like gambit which uses storage dance you can ignore stat increases from our chaladon with electro shot you can ignore um don dozo stat changes right so the kill is a really really good one um i think also like priority stuff is helpful because king gambit obviously like really did really well this tournament right uh 86 king gambit scored points um in day two 39 of them made day two and there was 12 gambit is the highest use pokemon in cut right um being able to create those like weird sucker punch um mind games where you can like redirect them is really really helpful right and that didn't stop me from doing well but like i think if your team doesn't have a way to deal with that but you see king gambit didn't actually win the tournament or make finals because if you don't have a way to actually deal with king gambit you're probably just going to get rolled over by it most of the time so i think like that stuff is just really really good <clears throat> obviously amungus is dominating these tournaments as well so having a way to redirect sleep is going to be very important or at least uh, stop sleep overall like like this first team um the, the david's team had a goggles pokemon had a redirector obviously um it had mr terrain had a, an immunity and then if you go back um you have your own amungus probably i'm pretty sure that's a goggles incineroar yes yeah, so like amungus is very strong so redirection is one of the best ways to deal with it especially with vital spirit um, so yeah, get a redirector on your teams. Um, if you'd already have one, so we're just going to take a quick look at the, uh, just the usage overall. Um, these are the teams, uh, points, day two, top cut. Yeah. I'm going to go back to this. Okay. So just general usage stuff. So you guys can see, uh, really continues to be the number one most used Pokemon in these tournaments. Incineroar was much closer, th um, this time than it has been. 
And Cinderella's still been like top three, four, five used Pokemon, but it has been well behind Rillaboom. But I think um the style of play in the EU region, um, I expected Incineroar to shoot back up. Um, and it did, right? It got 34% of the field uh, of points, and Rillaboom was 36% of the field in points. Sneasler, another fake out user with status um as well, obviously had a really strong showing um because it's just a really cheap Pokemon. Um, you're not you know cheap if you're using it, it's just the tools that the game gives us. Uh, but it is very cheap with Dire Claw and Burden plus Dire Claw is really strong because you get the instant double speed if you proc the item, and then you can just like pull victory from the jaws of the feet sometimes if you get a timely sleep or paralysis or extra damage. Even the, even the poison, which is the least worrying of the three, you get the extra damage and can really really uh, hurt teams. Uh, King Gambit at 86, Bodengo at 85. Bodengo was actually usually top three, right? So. But seeing it in top five is not surprising as well because they, like I said, they play a lot of balance over there and Goldengo like to play a lot of setup. Um, if you look here, you don't see in the top as far as like points, a lot of Tailwind. Um, they mostly just worry about redirection and fake out to control the board, right? They don't need, they don't play a lot of Tailwind as much. Um, I'm pretty sure some of these Pelipers had Tailwind because that those kind of teams kind of need it. But like no Murkrows. Um, Talonflame was down at 19, so 7% of the field. Um, Pavilion is a common tailwind setter, so down at 15. So some people played it, but like obviously it's just not as much. Oh, uh, and then like there's um Whimsicott down here at 30. But like if you look at like the Pokemon that dominated, like 30 is really good showing for Whimsicott. But the Pokemon that dominated are mostly fake out setup redirection Pokemon, right? Um, Pokemon that can send in the field like our child. Uh, we look at the day two information. Actually, no, before we go to that, I'm gonna go back to day one just to see anything obscure that may have one point. Nothing too surprising. Actually, 11 Ninetales is surprising. I think Ninetales is an interesting Pokemon right now, uh, but 11 of them getting points is not something I had, I would have been able to predict going into this tournament. So that's actually something to look out for, especially because it won the Jonesville run, right? Because that's a good Pokemon. Uh, two Palafin scored points. Um, more Palafin than I would expect. Nah, no, Palafin's a strong Pokemon. I, I can expect two Palafins to score. That's, that's, I'm just tripping. Um, Espathera scored points. Uh, shout out to my boy Blake. He loves Espathera. He also loves Palafin. So shout out to him twice. <laughs> um, there was a, um, I forgot that thing's name, but it's the little dragon type right there. My apologies. Scrafty, my dog made, uh, got, got points. There was a Weezing, two Weezing scored points and one, um, slacking. So I wonder what the, uh, what the other, oh, Weezing Toad Scrolls. Probably one pair with Toad. Oh, no, there was two. So maybe there was like a, all three of them on a the team. I need to find that team and see if I can see if they were all grouped up together. Um, day two, Rillaboom stayed at one. And Cinder drops to fifth, um, which is uh, definitely interesting. But its conversion rate is not that bad. 34% to 32%. Okay, that's not bad at all. Uh, Rillaboom's conversion rate is awesome. 36 to uh, 41. King Gambit was 33 and increased 38. That's also awesome. Uh, 33 for Sneezer to 37% is phenomenal as well. Uh, 33% is day two for Primarina, which is at 32. So it broke about even. Amumas was 28 in day and just for scoring points. Um, and then 22 again. Oh no, so it actually dropped down a little bit. And then points doesn't mean like total usage. It's just people who scored high, who placed high them to get points. It's not total usage. Um, but what scored points is kind of the most important, right? What did the, what did the best? Uh, Dragapult. 22 percent of dragapults uh 22 dragapults for 22 percent of the field a child on 21 of those so rain obviously is still very strong however it's not the most dominant format at least over in the eu region um because you see like 21 here uh 16 pelipers um what else is on rain oh yeah mask legion uh mask legion not being the most dominant water type of the tournament uh that was primarina so um Oh yeah, also P2 down at 14, which is good, but not like dominating, which you would expect, like because the P2 and Cinnamonga stuff was really strong. Um, but P2 and Ursula Luna had decent showings, but not the showings you probably expected coming into this tournament. Uh, Flamigo at seven, Flamigo seems to be dropping down a little bit, at least over in the EU region, whereas it, most people probably expected it to take off a little bit more. Um, and then we're gonna go to the top cut. Uh, like we saw here, 12 gamuts, 11 sneezers. So the as far as the mons that scored points day two and cut it was very very consistent right king gambler sneezler ensign rillaboom primarina pulp goldengo amungus um <laughs> and then redirector so other than other redirector so magmar buzz etc um so that's something to definitely look out for even if you look in the cut there's no porygon twos there's one two ursulunas there's no p2 oh there's two okay it's five p2s i, I apologize i just missed those at first um, there's five P2s. Well, um, so the, the, the team is still performing well, but just not as well as the um, things uh, above it.
Do any of those, how high did those teams place? I want to see the best placing P2 Barcelona was fourth place. So it is still a team to watch out for. But I think that's the only one. Okay, then one came top 16, which is um good. Actually, top 16 is, is phenomenal. Um, Obviously, just not as uh, high as like the top four. Um, But yeah, so this tournament is really, really interesting um, to say the least. I, I wonder how much is going to shape uh the next like north american tournament which is going to be louisville um because that tournament was much more i don't, I don't much more diverse in a sense um uh is that the right word to use because baltimore was a lot of like rain some dozo um some side spam but this is kind of just all balanced right yeah so i guess technically and if you look at like archetypes there was more diverse archetypes in baltimore um, a lot of these archetypes tend to function very similarly, right? Like I said, uh, speed control option with like electro web or just redirection, board control, fake out, um, set up Pokemon, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, yeah, before we get out of here, we can do a quick look at uh, Jonesville just to see uh, if there's any similarities here. Um, King Gambit, Garchomp, Dango, Incident, Amoongus, Rillaboom, Sneasler were the best Pokemon in top 32. Uh, Dragonite did really well. Garchomp did well in both tournaments. Um, so look out for the dragon type. Dragon type seems to be really doing well. Maybe that's why Nine Tails is so good right now, right? Because uh, Nine Tails did well in this tournament and it did well in the other one. And because dragon types are so good, it kind of just makes sense that your fairy types and your ice types would be good as well. Um, Electabuzz, four Electabuzz in top thirty-two. Where's the Magmars? Are there any Magmars? I know there's a Magmar somewhere. Hmm. There was a Magmar in there somewhere. But uh, Electabuzz, let's just look at the top. Oh, top seventeen is interesting. Get to see that. They only show top 32 and top 17. That's interesting. I wonder why there's no more data for this stuff than this. Um, but yeah, like I said, this team here, Gabriel Gattis, I want to feature on the channel because I really enjoyed it. It's uh, I'll just show it to you guys in full. Uh Bandit, Garchomp, Dragonite, uh Lumberry, Multiscale, Moongus, uh Standard Moongus, Standard Incineroar, Specs, Nine Tails. I think that's actually pretty, really cool. And I'm gonna show you guys why when I get a chance. Um, an AV King Gambit. Um, this team actually was originally built by Paul Chua King, second at Baltimore. I believe that Gabriel Agati changed some items. Like, I don't think, I think uh, this is Specs Nine Tails is vastly different to what Paul ran. I think Paul had like disabled stuff. Kind of, I don't know if it was Encore and disabled, but I think he had like disabled stuff. Um, and I can't remember what his, uh, his, uh, his, um, hard chomp and stuff set was. I have to double check that, but it was some differences, some key differences on this team and that one. That team came second, this team came first. Um, anyhow, uh, let me know what you guys think of the, uh, redirection dominating tournament who is the best redirector um click like for your boy subscribe if you're new become a member to the channel if you are so inclined and i'll see you guys in the next video peace